30, he was a god with an empire stretching across the known world. What have I done with my five long decades here on Earth? It me, do you vent? Together we can do more than Alexander did. Yes. Welcome to Mojo Plays. Today, we're looking at 10 historical events in Assassin's Creed games. Vengeance, then. No, not vengeance. Justice. There is a blood fever. They say it's a curse and they need help from the gods. Where am I? In hell. Which one did you read up on? Before we begin, we publish new content all week long. So, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. The 1755 Lisbon Earthquake. Assassin's Creed Rogue. Portugal's capital city was practically destroyed by a debilitating earthquake in 1755 in a natural disaster that caused up to 50,000 deaths at the highest estimates. You experienced the quake firsthand near the beginning of Assassin's Creed Rogue. It's triggered by Shay taking a piece of Eden from a vault beneath the city and is the inciting incident that causes Shay to leave the assassins. God had nothing to do with this. He decides that no organization that allows so many lives to be lost just for the sake of another Isu relic is worth his time and defects to the Templars. The Lisbon earthquake broke the streets apart and destroyed thousands of buildings and is recreated in one of the franchise's best and most tragic platforming sections. The Battle of Chippenham, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. One of the major antagonists of AC Valhalla is Alfred of Wessex, better known as Alfred the Great, one of England's most famous kings. Though history generally remembers Alfred the Great positively, hence the name, Valhalla took a different perspective, and that shows particularly in its vision of the Battle of Chippenham. This was a major battle between the Anglo-Saxons and the invading Vikings, one in which the Vikings ended up winning, seizing control of the entire region for some time. Eivor and the Raven Clan joined forces with the Great Heathen Army, which was the real army involved in the conflict, and take Wessex, though it was only set to be theirs for a few months. The city is ours! Wessex will follow! The Borgia Papacy, Assassin's Creed II and Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. What better way to celebrate my victories than to join in the Brotherhood of Man? One of the most notorious noble families to ever live, the Borgias have certainly been painted as villains by history, including when they appear during the Ezio trilogy. Cesare Borgia is the main antagonist of Brotherhood, while his father Rodrigo takes control of the Vatican, becoming Pope Alexander VI. Why did you not stop them? As if I could. It was not my decision to attack Monterigione, it was yours! Today, it's not clear how much about the Borgias is true and how much was slander invented by their rivals in European high society, but they did exist and also had control of Italy for a time. Being Spanish, they weren't particularly popular in Italy, and that's definitely something the games get right, since Ezio spends his time trying to oust them from power. It's finished, Rodrigo! Lay down your arms, and I will make sure the end comes swiftly. The Third Crusade, Assassin's Creed. <laughs> You know not the things in which you meddle, Assassin. Both the Assassin Brotherhood and the Knights Templar have their origins in the Crusades, despite both groups having existed for far longer according to the lore of later games, becoming the Hidden Ones and the Order of Ancients. But the very first game tackled the Crusades and their atrocities head-on, pitting Altair against many of the Holy Land's most important figures, such as Richard the Lionheart. Vengeance, then. No, not vengeance. Justice. And when you're not eavesdropping on conversations in one of the three main cities, you'll be riding through war-torn no man's land, just trying to get from one side to another without being taken out by a bloodthirsty crusader. So be it. To arms, assassin! The Plague of Athens, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. What's going on? Kausos was consumed by plague. We couldn't keep up with the bodies. It was spreading. We had to intervene. In the year 430 BC, and for a few years subsequently, Athens was struck by a devastating plague that killed tens of thousands of people. 
In Assassin's Creed Odyssey, you witness the horrors of the plague outbreak, complete with a great color filter on your screen, including the death of Athenian leader Pericles. At least I'm alive. Though I can't say the same for my city. But Assassin's Creed still can't shed light on one of history's biggest mysteries. What was the disease that caused the devastating plague? It may have been the Black Death, but it's also been theorized to have been everything else from measles to Ebola, and some medical evidence suggests it might have even been typhoid. There is a blood fever. They say it's a curse and they need help from the gods. Blackbeard's death. Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag. Nothing round this spot, sadly. But there's a few wrecks yonder that have been scoured by nothing but crabs and coral. You'll encounter many of history's most notorious pirates throughout Black Flag, including Anne Bonny, Mary Reed, Black Bart, and, of course, Blackbeard himself, perhaps the most infamous of all. But just like in real life, Blackbeard meets an untimely and grisly end. He was killed during a surprise attack planned by Robert Maynard of the Royal Navy, who pursued him relentlessly for some time. Upon his death, Blackbeard had his head cut off and taken as a trophy by Maynard, who planned to use it to claim a bounty. He's given more of a hero's death in Black Flag, since he's one of Kenway's allies, but it's still relatively true to life. You'll be hanged and sun-dried just as them there were in Boston. The king's called for a pardon. <laughs> the Ides of March, Assassin's Creed Origins. The people love you, Caesar. You're a god. The Senate will not bow so easily. That parliament of clucking hands. Another high-profile death that aimed to recreate history to the letter came in Assassin's Creed Origins, where Julius Caesar is murdered by his fellow Roman senators for trying to make himself the Emperor of Rome. Roman emperors did exist, of course, but not until after Caesar had been gone, which is why the other politicians didn't take kindly to him becoming a dictator. If you ally with my sister, I will kill every last Roman in Alexandria. You've already had plenty of encounters with Caesar by this point, including witnessing his affair with Cleopatra, but it was certainly a dramatic moment to see his demise. He was brutally stabbed to death by a dozen men in broad daylight who were supposedly members of the assassins in-game. You too, my child. Storming of the Bastille, Assassin's Creed Unity. Where am I? In hell. The French Revolution officially began on July 14, 1789, still celebrated as Bastille Day every year in modern France. The Bastille, a large and oppressive prison in Paris, had stood for hundreds of years, starting life as a fortress. But while it was capable of repelling British invasions, it eventually fell to the revolutionaries, who stormed the prison and broke the prisoners out. And one of those prisoners was, of course, Arnold Dorian, soon to be assassin. What? Prison scrambled your brains, old man. Drake took care of that a long time ago. Arnold didn't really exist, but the Bastille's storming remains one of the most important political moments in French history, leading to the establishment of the First French Republic and the advent of the Revolution. Goodbye, this part! The Boston Tea Party. Assassin's Creed 3. The Sons of Liberty get to send a message to England and you rob William Johnson of his financing. Your village will be saved. In 1773, American radicals launched a protest against the British colonial rulers, who had imposed higher taxes on tea that wasn't sold by the East India Company. Outraged by British taxation, the Sons of Liberty took large amounts of the East India Company's tea and dumped it in the Boston Harbor. We need to keep those bastards at bay while the tea is being dumped. In Assassin's Creed 3, this has the secondary aim of financially damaging the Templars, which is why it's Connor who has the honor of carrying the tea and tossing it into the ocean. It's still a huge part of Boston's history and one of the first incidents in the successful American Revolution. Connor really hit the British where it hurts, right in the tea bags. Jack the Ripper's Killing Spree, Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Stop! Want me, Jack? Can I kill me? The most notorious serial killer in history, Jack the Ripper was famously never caught or held responsible for his violent crimes. Syndicate mostly takes place in the 1860s, which left room for an entire DLC set in the unforgiving winter of 1888 when the Ripper was at large. 
Evie Fry returns from abroad and is tasked with unmasking the Ripper by Aberlin when everybody believes her brother Jacob is responsible. Only you know who the Ripper is, but you can't tell a living soul because it would destroy you and the assassins. Of course, you can't set a game in Victorian London without getting Jack the Ripper in there somewhere, and dedicating a whole expansion gave these ghastly crimes the weight they deserve, saving them from becoming another of Syndicate's penny-dreadful side missions. Rest in peace now, Jack. You and your twisted acolytes. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, there's more where that came from.